Greetings, my name is Matt Fiello. I'm a TME with the Cisco Cloud Infrastructure Software Group. And today we have module two of the Advantage IMM series, namely the debut of the IMM transition tool, a tool that we can use to transition your pools, policies, and templates from a UCS manager domain to an Intersight managed mode domain. So this is exciting news, a great tool that will help customers get to Intersight Managed Mode. Let's talk briefly about the architecture. First and foremost, it's a very simple OVA install to get the IMM transition tool up and running, web-based interface, set the account credentials as you install the OVA. Once you do that, you're going to inter interrogate each of your UCS manager domains and bring back to the tool the inventory and the configuration, the policy configuration um, to the tool. The tool then has two outputs. First and foremost, a readiness assessment report. Um, and based on that inventory, based on the status of the hardware and the, the uh, firmware, uh, the policies that are configured within that UCS domain, it's going to craft a report, a state of the union type report, A to Z, give you all the details of how successful you would be to migrate that UCS manager domain uh, to Intersight managed mode. The second output is exciting as well because we not only are going to report on all that inventory and policy configuration, but we're going to convert it to REST and be able to push those policies out uh, to Cisco Intersight Managed Mode. And with that, let's move on to a demo. Okay, we have our demo environment with the IMM transition tool. We have a target UCSM domain. And then we have an Intersight account that is actually an empty account. There's absolutely no uh, profiles. There are no templates in this account. There are no policies. And let's go click on pools. There are no pools. This, this will make it easier to see the transition objects. So let's log into the tool itself. Um, you have the ability to then add your transition, which basically allows you to give it a friendly name. And then you can choose whether to do the report or the report and the migration or the transition of the policies to Intersight. So we're going to click that and click next. I've already got a domain added, but you would add new UCSM domain if you were doing this the first time. We're going to hit next. And using the, uh, the API, we were going to go out and interrogate that domain. Now I've already done this. This takes anywhere from 10 to 15 to sometimes 20 minutes. Um, you have the ability to regenerate the report. You can view the report. So let's go in here and view a few items in the report. Notice you get a dashboard, a conversion score. I'm pretty much excellent everywhere except on fabric config score. And I know I've got a blade out there with an adapter firmware that needs to be upgraded. Okay, so that's why I'm less than excellent on the fabric config score. You can see your hardware inventory. Notice that it tells you if your hardware is compatible. It tells you if your firmware is compatible. Is compatible. Fabric interconnects, IOMs, chassis, blades. All the hardware is there. Now if we go down into the config uh, part of it, this is the policy uh, parameters. And we're going to interrogate the policy that was configured in UCS Manager. We're going to be able to then be able to tell uh, if that's going to convert to Intersight Managed Mode. So let's key in on one of the yellow items here. This is not a showstopper, but it's just a, a, a knob, an artifact is part of a UCSM adapter policy that does not convert to Intersight Managed Mode. So there's a setting called pooled in an adapter policy, Ethernet adapter policy as an example, and that doesn't convert to Intersight Managed Mode. So certainly not a showstopper. 
Okay, so now we're gonna click next because we're gonna move on from the reporting part to the actual transition of the policy up to Intersight uh, Managed Mode. So we have to add an account. This is where you'll need the version three API key from an Intersight admin account. I've already gone ahead and extracted that API key and secret key and I'm gonna copy and paste here uh, into the tool and then click next and that will start the process of transitioning. Now this can take upwards of about five minutes. You're going to connect to Intersight. In this case we're connecting to Intersight SAS but we could have also hit the radio button at the top of the screen there and connected to an on-prem appliance. We can see that we're already pushing out our pools so the operational logs are very well done. They're very informative and let, let you know each step of the way uh, what is happening. Okay, now we can see that the uh, configuration push is complete. Let's go over to uh, our Intersight account and we can see already that we have pools that have been populated into the blank Intersight account. Let's go up to profiles. We have a new domain profile, a new construct within Intersight managed mode, but the tool went and grabbed all the bits and pieces from UCSM and come up with a new policy, a new template, or a new uh, domain profile, if you would. So let's go into our uh, server profile template. So this phase of the tool only does the server profile template. You craft server profiles from the template. In the future, we'll be able to migrate server profiles as well. Here's our policies. You can see just short of 60 policies got transitioned over from UCSM to Intersight Managed Mode. That completes our demonstration of the IMM transition tool. If you have any further questions, I urge you to contact your Cisco or partner sales team and learn more about the tool. Stay tuned for more Advantage IMM series videos and stay tuned for more enhancements to the tool in future videos.